So today we are looking at 1 Peter chapter 4. Who's read 1 Peter chapter 4? Me! Great. Well, it's a very interesting topic. Now, I thought I would pick up on something that Mary was talking about a few weeks ago, and she was talking about fruit. Do you remember that? Yes. And where fruit comes from? No. Different trees. Now, can we get the first slide? What is this? It's an apple tree. What comes from apple trees? Apples. 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 That's just that's just sensible, isn't it? Apple trees give you apples. What what about the next one? Banana tree. What comes from a banana tree? You you get the fruit of a banana. What's the next slide? The next slide. There we go. What's this one? The Bible. So, trusting in God. What, what fruit do we get from trusting in God? Strawberries. What about... What about a a love for God? So knowing God and reading His Word, we get a love for God. What about, what's another fruit that we get? Love for others. others. So we actually were talking about this in Kids Club on Friday. Loving your neighbours as yourself, wasn't it? From Mark. What's another fruit that we get from following Jesus? I said the Spirit. Fun. What about... Let's see what else I've got. I've got one of these and... Oh, they're in here somewhere. What are these things? Nails. Oh. To build a house. To build a house? Yeah, maybe. What, what happened to Jesus? He got nailed into his hands. He got nailed in his hands. He got nailed to a cross. And so if we follow Jesus and Jesus got put on a cross and got suffered and got persecuted, what's one of the other fruit that we might get from following Jesus? We've already said loving God, loving neighbours as ourselves. Yep. Yeah, lots of paper, but if Jesus suffered, what are we going to do? What's likely to happen to us if we follow Jesus? I got no life. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably suffer as well. And you know what? Do you guys suffer as Christians at the moment? No, not really. Maybe your friends in the on the playground go, you go to church, that's weird. But there are kids all over the world who suffer a lot more because they follow Jesus. And we're going to be looking at that in 1 Peter. And it's not something that's uh, something to be avoided, but Peter actually says it's something to rejoice in because we're like Jesus. And so we've got some sheets that are going to look at that. Why don't I pray as we think more about uh, the fruit of our lives suffering with Jesus. Uh, Dear God, thank you that we can uh, be your friends. Uh, Thank you that we can know you and because of that we can love you and love others but also that we uh, are called to suffer like uh, Jesus did. Uh, Please help us in that, and please help us to see joy in following you. Amen.